Okay, class, here we go. Basics of probability, video number one. Probability is a number. It's the chance that something will happen. We often use a fraction for probability. So, for example, if you flip a coin, let's get a coin. Here is a Saudi five halala coin. This is heads, though it may not be obvious, <clears throat> and this is tails. Okay, so if you're flipping a coin, we usually say the probability of heads is one half. That assumes it's a fair coin. See how fair is in red? That's a special vocabulary word. We could also say that the probability of heads is 0 0.5, that's a half, or that the probability of heads is 50%. Okay, so far? Onward. When you write probabilities, we usually use the fractions or the decimals. Sometimes we use percents. You can use percents if you want, but I'm mostly going to use fractions and decimals, and it's good if you do too. There's an official mathy way to write this. Look at this. When you say it, probability of heads is 0.5. Notice how the open parenthesis means the word of, like when we're in fathom and we say count of something, it's count open parenthesis and then the thing in the parentheses. So this is the probability of heads is 0.5. Okay, think about probability. A probability is always greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to one. It can be zero, <clears throat> it can be one, but it's always in that range. It's never negative. It's always less than or equal to one. If it's zero, if a probability of something is zero means that it will never happen. If the probability is one, it means it will always happen. Here's the big hint. If you do a calculation, you get a number less than zero or greater than one, something went wrong. Okay, next thing about probabilities, they add up to one, mostly. Uh, let's assume they add up to one here. We're going to cover later on when they don't. So you add up the probabilities of all the things that could possibly happen, they add to one. For example, we're going to neglect a coin landing on its edge. We're just going to do the straightforward things, no tricks. Probability of heads is 0.5. Probability of tails is also 0.5. Wow, probability of heads plus probability of tails, 0.5 plus 0.5. It's 1. They add to 1. There's this other concept called equally likely. In a situation with outcomes that are all kind of the same, like heads and tails, you don't expect one to be favored over the other. We call the outcomes equally likely. Notice the red. If there are, oh, here we go to math. If there are n equally likely outcomes, the probability of each one is 1 over n. What the heck does that mean? Oh, like in a die. There are six equally likely outcomes, so the probability of rolling any one of them is 1 sixth. So the probability of rolling a 4 is 1 sixth. Last thing we have to do, what does it actually mean? Okay. If you flip a coin 100 times, you expect 50 heads. If you roll a die 60 times, you expect 10 fours, sort of. And the sort of here is very important and sort of central to statistics. Because if you really do flip a coin 100 times, you probably won't get exactly 50 heads. You got 48, you get 53, sometimes you'll get 50. But it's not really that you expect to get 50 heads. There's this special word, ooh, we should have made expect red. There's this special word, expect. And what it really means is, in the long run, the proportion of heads will approach 0.5, and the proportion of fours will approach 1 sixth. All the exceptions we'll get to, but this is the main thing. All right, that's it. See you later.